Hello. Let's look into this question. This is again taken from CAT 2023 slot 1 QA algebra question. Let's read the question, try and understand what the question is all about and then possibly we'll uh, look at what we could have done. The question says the number of integer solutions to this equation and it's a very sweet simple equation and I don't think anybody would have found uh, you know let's say would have got any difficulty in this question if you conceptually are a little clear now what exactly it's that conceptual clarity that i'm talking about i'll talk uh, in a while but before that please understand that i am not mocking the students who would have found this question difficult because i totally understand that under the timer and everything in the exam condition it becomes a little difficult but then if you're conceptually uh, let's say your concepts are in place I don't see why this would be a problem the first thing that you needed to understand is that there is just one mod x quantity and then x square plus one and if i am a little tired all i will do is i will bifurcate this x into plus x and minus x and i'll continue from there i'll create two equations i'll see what i can do with it and i know that for a fact i will get to the answer but the obviously this is a, a analysis video as well so in this analysis what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to give you the most optimal way uh, you could have solved it in an actual exam condition right so let's look into what that optimal method is first of all understand mod of x is nothing but an operator mod of x is called the absolute value function any so instead of this variable x if i would have placed any integer let's say minus 2 or plus 3 i would have got 2 and three respectively right a similar working function is the square function okay why am i writing it like this so a square function is like this right it's x square substitute any value for x so if you substitute let's say 2 you get a 4 if you substitute minus 2 you will still get a 4 what i'm trying to take you towards is that please appreciate that mod x can in fact be written as equivalent to some what i'm saying it's not equal to x square but it's equivalent to x square in other words can i not just you know replace the x squares present in this expression as mod x so if you are a little smart you will realize where exactly i'm taking you with it so 2 mod x mod x whole uh, square plus 1 is equals to 5 mod x cus square obviously so many mod x y i mean am i uh, deliberately making your life tough no at this point just do this let mod of x as any other variable let's say t and then when you get the value obviously i think i'm gonna get a quadratic so when i solve for t instead of two values or one value i'll get maybe four values depending upon how many values i get of t okay let's do that okay i don't think it is going to be any different difficult now so this is two times t plus t square plus one is equals to five t square this is two t cube plus two t is equals to or let me take the five t to this side minus 5 t square is equals to 0 let's take t common throughout if i take t achha, one more thing one more interesting thing don't be hasty enough to cancel this t and this square over there if you do that then you are assuming that t can never be 0 or in other words if you are smart you can actually do this and say that sir i am assuming t equals to 0 as one of the possible values so if you are doing that great i mean I generally have this bad habit of cancelling the twos, but then I compensate it for uh, compensate it by keeping t is equals to zero as a solution set uh, handy available. Right now that I have cancelled t all over, you can see I'm left with. Uh, let me write it like this: two t square my uh, plus two minus five t that is equals to zero. Or if you just want to write it a little visually so that the quadratic equation looks good it will be 5t plus 2 this is a very simple quadratic equation that one can solve and i don't see why you will uh, require any problem like 
i am going to give you one more step into it if you are uh, finding any difficulty to this this is going to be 2t square minus 4t minus t plus 2 is equals to 0 at this point my dear friends i mean this is mental maths now if you want to aim for 99 percentile you should know ideally that what the values for this expression will be it will be t minus 2 into 2t minus 1 equals to 0 this will give you t as 2 or 1 by 2 now because we were looking out for integral values i'm gonna be neglecting this value of half because we are looking at integer solutions okay now how many solutions do i have two solutions one zero over here and one two over here no you get you guessed it right t will be again replaced with mod of x because remember we are not finding for t we are finding for x so mod of x is equals to 2 that means x could be 2 or minus 2 okay so the final solution set is gonna be 2 or minus 2 and remember 0 also because we eliminated it accounting for the fact that t could be 0 so yeah i mean this was uh, i spoke a lot so this became like a six minutes uh, sort of a video but i don't think this would take six minutes in the exam condition it'll take maybe two minutes at the higher end and if you're a little smart you can also sort it out in less than a minute thank you